In this video, I am discussing KSET Mathematical Science previous year questions on real analysis topic series of real numbers. Question is KSET 2021 question. The series root n plus 1 minus root n divided by n raised to x option given option a diverges for x greater than 1 converges only for x greater than 1 diverges for x belongs to open interval 1 by 2 to 1 converges for x greater than 2 1 by 2 now given series is not bothering options. First, discuss the concept. Given series is summation n is equal to 1 to infinity root n plus 1 n plus 1 minus root n divided by n raised to x. Okay, now if we rationalize this, this n is equal to 1 to infinity root n plus 1 minus root n divided by n raised to x into root n plus 1 plus root n divided by root n plus 1 plus root n. a plus b into a minus b is a square minus b square. Therefore, this becomes root n to infinity n plus 1 minus n a square minus b square. This is equal to n raised to x into root n plus 1 plus root n. This n, this n get cancelled here. Summation n is equal to 1 to infinity 1 by n raised to x into root n plus 1 plus root n. Here already root n is there. If you put x is equal to any value, any value means here already 1 by 2 is there. If we put greater than 1 by 2 by p series test, by p series test, by p series test, p greater than 1 convergent. P less than or equal to 1, P less than or equal to 1, divergent. Therefore, X value here is greater than or equal to 1 by 2, or else strictly greater than, this is great. If we put 1 by 2, it becomes 1. By P series test, less than or equal to 1, divergent. Therefore, this value is greater than 1 by 2. X value here is greater than 1 by 2. In that case, series is convergent. Therefore, X greater than 1 by 2 series, series is series convergent. Check the option. Ah, yes, converges for x greater than 1 by 2. This option is right. Next. To, this is 2021 question. If series an, series bn, series cn are convergent series, which of the following is true? Limit n tends to infinity, 
an plus b n a n plus 2 b 2 n plus c 3 n is equal to 0 limit 10 tends to infinity a n plus b 2 n plus 3 c n does not exist this is wrong Here, necessary condition, we know that necessary condition for series to be a conversion is its sequence is 10 sequence, limit of sequence, limit of n tends to infinity a n is equal to 0, then only it is convergent. This is necessary condition. Necessary condition necessary condition but not sufficient this is the necessary condition all its all its subsequences convergent converges to zero then only the series series convergent therefore option a is the right answer here Simple question, basic concept applied here by using necessary condition limit 10 tends to infinity a n is equal to 0. This also 0, this also 0. Therefore, limit 10 tends to infinity a n. This condition series is convergent in all cases. In all cases. We cannot say it is divergent or convergent. Next question. This question is case set 2020 question. The series minus 1 raised to n, 2n plus 1 divided by 3n plus 5 is here. Concept is this is alternating series. Yeah, they are given alternating series using Leibniz test on alternating series. Leibniz test is consider a series summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 a n where a n greater than 0 for all n. Then if a n greater than or equal to a n plus 1. That means monotonically decreasing sequence for all n belongs to n. Monotonically decreasing sequence, first condition. Second condition is limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to 0. Then the series summation n is equal to 1 to infinity minus 1 raised to n minus 1 a n is convergent otherwise divergent here a n is 2 n plus 1 divided by 3 n plus 5 if we apply limit limit n tends to infinity a n is equal to limit n tends to infinity take n common 2 plus 1 by n this is this 3 plus 5 by n. This and this and get cancelled. This becomes 2 by 3 not equal to 0. Leibniz test fails. Leibniz, we cannot apply Leibniz test. Leibniz test, by, by using Leibniz test, it is not convergent. Leibniz test, by Leibniz test, it is not, it is not convergent. That means it is here conditionally convergent, absolutely convergent given, given. Option is conditionally. First of all, it is not a convergent. That means divergent. Next question is, Case set 2020 question. Let 
समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू जीरो टू इनफिनिटी टू एन फैक्टोरियल थ्री एन फैक्टोरियल डिवाइड बाय एन फैक्टोरियल इनटू फोर एन फैक्टोरियल दिस इज वन एंड सेकंड वन समेशन एन इज इक्वल टू वन टू इनफिनिटी वन बाय एन रेस टू थ्री एन प्लस टू डिवाइड बाय टू एन दिस इज टू देन सीरीज वन इज कन्वर्जेस एंड सीरीज ट Diverges, series one diverges, and series two converges. C both the series one and two converge. D both the series one and two diverge. What is the? What will be the answer? Comment in comment section. I will discuss this question in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button. Subscribe this channel for more videos.